Let's get started. Today we've built underground bases and we want to show you them. Exactly! JJ built his base out of diamonds while I built my base out of dirt. I think that if you're going to build a base underground, it should be built out of dirt. I don't know, Mikey. Diamonds look a lot more interesting to me. And the material's stronger, so no mobs can get through diamond walls. But why don't you show us your base? Hmm. You've already seen my entire base through the glass. Here's a picture of my base as a souvenir. I don't think you'll find anything new when you go down there. How about we take a better look around your base? Sure, please come down here. From what I understand, it's got several rooms, not just one like mine. Yes, in each of the rooms I hung a lot of pictures to create a cozy atmosphere in my underground base. I even put carpets in some places. I think it looks great. Mikey, what are you doing? Why are you taking pictures of everything? I've been at your base long enough and taken a few pics. I don't need more than that. You haven't even gotten around to it completely. You've only been in one room and you haven't even looked in the chest. I had a lot of things I wanted to show you, but you left. Come back. I'm not going back to your base. I don't like it. And it ruins the look of my base, but I'll fix that. Huh? What are you doing? Why are you breaking my base? Get out of here right now. Go back to your base and break whatever you want. Don't touch what I've spent a lot of time building. I now have two diamond blocks on my base, but I'll make sure you have a level field instead of a base. In that case, we'll see who has the better base. Get ready for the fact that your base may be gone in a few minutes. I've got a lot of stuff to help level your base. For example, I have a mechanical drill that will help me get to you without going upstairs. He doesn't even realize that I'm getting to his underground base right now with a drill. He's probably preparing for battle, crafting the right items, and then I walk in to visit him. Great! Apparently, I've already gotten to it. All that's left is a little digging. <laughs> JJ, how'd you get in here? Get out of here! You don't belong here! <gasps> no, not my diamond blocks. Not your diamond blocks, mine! You got them by destroying my underground base, and I'm putting them back. So I'm not doing you any harm, I'm just returning what's rightfully mine. So that's how you got here, through the underground tunnel. How did you dig it up so fast? Maybe you built it in the first place, huh? I just dug this tunnel with an electric drill. You don't have one, so sit in your underground base. I just took my diamond blocks, now we can peacefully part ways and further develop our underground bases. I'd rather develop and improve your base. Here, look how I've decided to improve it. Now you'll have lava on the roof so that mobs won't come close to your base. Duh! Mikey, get the lava off my base. I don't need the extra protection. This lava is gonna burn everything in my underground base. Stop it! <laughs> I'll give you a little interior tweak. It's too cold here. I'll make the room warmer, even hotter! Get out of my underground base! I'm on my way out, except before I do. I'll leave you some presents. Now you have to clean your living room. It's really worth cleaning up after Mikey's lava spill. But I don't have time for that. I have to go to Mikey's base and return the favor. I got something more interesting than a bucket of lava. The lava in my base will only damage the carpet and paintings. Everything else will be intact. But as for Mikey's underground base, I'll try to make sure that there's nothing left of his base but a huge hole. I'll use the explosives I'll set up around the perimeter of the glass. Wait, JJ, what did you put on the glass? <laughs> <gasps> JJ, stop this right now! No, Mikey. These are my gifts to you. I have many. I'll leave them on the roof of your base. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this, JJ! You broke the glass on the roof of my base with your explosion so I can throw lava balls right into your base. What do you say to that? What are your lava balls going to do to my base that's made of diamonds and glass? I, on the other hand, can damage your base with explosives. You spilled your own lava on the base. I don't even have to do anything. You're going to destroy yourself. <gasps> oh no, I lavered myself. I just had another bucket of lava fall out of Lucky Block. Now it's yours. You shouldn't have come down here. You won't be able to get out on your own. It's all lava now. I'm not done here. You said you wanted to pump up my underground base, so I thought I'd thank you and upgrade yours in return. I am eternally grateful to you, but I'll be even more grateful if you finally leave my base. Ouch! Did I fall in the lava again? <laughs> What's that? What is this sand? <laughs> Now you're going to drown in quicksand and there's lava coming at you. I don't envy you. I think I'll leave your base. I don't like it here. 
I'd better go to my base to rest and clean up the lava you left behind. Don't worry. I have water balloons to help me get rid of the lava on my base. And you'll clean it up at your place as usual, and then I'll make you clean up the lava on my base that you left behind. In that case, I'll leave you alone with the lava and water you have to clean up at your base. I'll continue my tour of my diamond underground bunker. We've only been in two rooms, but I have others just as cozy as these. I'm glad Mikey didn't get to them with his lava balls. It would be a pity to spoil the interior. Now, we go to my private room where I have my bed and a candy machine with candy and all sorts of food. All the rooms are separated by huge wooden doors so that both humans and higher beings such as Endermen can pass through. Although, I wouldn't want them in my underground base. JJ, go back to your room. Oh. I want to bring you some guests. Ah. You've been talking so passionately about your base that I've decided to send some creepers to listen to you. I'm sure they'll listen to you. Oh no! Get them off me! They're gonna blow the place up. You know how long I've been building this? You'll rebuild. Why are you running away from them? Where's your hospitality, JJ? How am I supposed to show hospitality to creepers? They can't damage my underground base. And I had no trouble blowing up yours and turning your bunker into a lava chamber. Now I'm gonna flood you with more water. I still have a lot of water and lava balls left, as well as a lot of creepers left. So no matter how hard you fight back, your base will be destroyed. I finally got out on top so I could get my revenge on you. Ugh! Where'd you get all those creepers? Where'd you get them? Of course I won't tell you where I got it from, but it's the only thing that can hurt your diamond base. I had an idea. All the creepers you summon, I'll use the hook to throw them into your base. I'd rather they explode on you than on me. What do you say to that, Mikey? They can't hurt my base either. I've made sure that my creepers can't do any damage to my buildings. They can't do any damage to my base either, so creepers are useless? But it looks spectacular! But I have a couple more ideas on how to destroy your base. Believe me, I have an incredible ultimatum weapon you don't even know about! Huh? Ouch! I'm stuck in the sand again, right next to the creeper! <laughs> that sounded so funny, coupled with the way you threatened with the mystery weapon. I'm gonna lock you up with the barbed wire and the sands. These are your new friends from now on. <laughs> JJ, let me out of here right now! You sit there while I get my diamond blocks. You got them from my base, didn't you? I don't think you could have mined them yourself in that amount of time. When I destroy your base, I'll have several stacks of diamond blocks. So you can take these three. They're the only thing left of your underground base. I've heard something like that before. But anyway, I have no business being on your base, and I think I should get out of here. I think after I came to your base, it looks a lot better. A lot more detail, you know? Plus, I still have Lucky Blocks left. Uh-oh. Looks like you got a new friend thanks to Lucky Block, Mikey. He looks just like you. I think this friend would be a much better fit for you. I got an idea. Maybe you could put him in the living room of your underground diamond base. I think it would look extremely classy. Hmm. No, I think it'll look better at your base. It'll take up half the room, but it'll keep your hideout secure. I'll break the glass so he can get in the room. So I'm going to do a little remodeling. Huh? You've already changed my sanctuary beyond recognition enough that it's going to take me an enormous amount of time to get it back to the way it was. Plus, you want to move that giant slime in with me. I'm seriously telling you, you need that giant slime. You complement each other perfectly, but you don't know it yet. So get out of my way and let me drive this giant pile of slime into your hideout. It's not going to make it any worse. It was originally built out of Earth, and it looked terrible. In that case, I'll kill that giant slime. I don't need it in my hideout. Huh? What? It's split into more pieces. Ho <laughs> ho! Now you have two friends instead of one. If you kill them again, you'll have four friends. I think one of them is trying to escape. Oh no, you're coming home. Mikey, now you have three friends instead of two. I don't need more friends and slimes in my underground base. JJ, what are you doing? Stop breaking those lucky blocks. Uh oh ah! <gasps> You finally destroyed my underground shelter. It wasn't me. It was lucky blocks. Is it my fault a bunch of dynamite fell out of there? Get out of here. I'll rebuild my underground shelter from scratch. Okay, I'll stay out of your way. Besides, I'm not done touring my diamond hideout. It's not all the rooms I showed you. At this point, I've only shown the living room and the private room, but I haven't shown the bathroom, which is behind this door. It's a pretty spacious bathroom. It's got everything you need, sink, bathtub. Much better than sitting in Mikey's mud bath at the shelter. 
By the way, I wonder if Mikey's fixed his underground bunker yet. I did. And now that I've built back my shelter, I can get my revenge. Revenge for what you did to my underground base. Uh oh Mikey, come on. Let's make a deal. I can see that you're capable of destroying my hideout, but don't do it. I'll rebuild your base, but don't destroy mine. I've put so much time and effort into it. I also asked you not to destroy my base, but you destroyed it completely. Now I intend to do the same to yours. What? You don't like it when someone destroys what you've spent so much time building. We can work this out peacefully. Hmm. You know what? If you want to fight, we'll fight. I see you didn't build your underground base and went straight for revenge. Why don't you do your job and get your hideout back to normal? It's easier for me to build a new shelter or take over yours. But I decided to just destroy your diamond underground base and collect all the diamond blocks from it and build myself a new impregnable fortress. An impregnable fortress? Impregnable like an underground base now inhabited by skeletons, zombies, spiders, and colorful sheep? Which are thanks to my lucky blocks. And believe me, I still have plenty of them left. You underestimate the power of luck that lies in those blocks. I don't care what happens to my base anymore, or what's left of my base. I'm gonna build myself a new and better one than yours. I'm gonna carpet it, hang pictures like yours. No, I'll have twice as many carpets and twice as many paintings. Why copy everything from me? Give free reign to your imagination. Make something that is not on my base, not copy and multiply. Think of something that would make me not want to destroy your underground shelter. Maybe you're right. Except, what could you come up with that would be more original than your base? Maybe we shouldn't make it underground at all. Maybe it should be a huge farm. No, that's right. I've got an idea. I should build a base where I can collect all the different animals from Lucky Block. All the Lucky Block mobs? We're the ones with the lucky sheep. We already have them here. There's also a lucky rabbit. As far as I remember, there is also a lucky villager. For him, it will be necessary to build a separate room. Will you put aggressive mobs from Lucky Block in there? I don't think we have too many of them here already. Speaking of which, why don't we have a contest right here to see whose Lucky's block is more useful? The idea is a good one, and we could use some mobs here at altitude. And if we fall down a pit with lava, we will fall together because there is not much space here. Of course, we could use some luck here. I have a lot of Lucky blocks, but I know you do too. So let's get started. I got nothing good, and I see you don't either. So we need to break one more at a time. My tools fell out. What about you? You got nothing at all. How did you do that? You're cheating. Nothing like that. I've just been unlucky. It's not like something always has to fall off the block, like the fireworks right now. At least it's something pretty. JJ, what are you doing out there? Fixing my base. I understand we have a truce. I got so caught up in the conversation that I forgot I was supposed to break your base. But we've done enough damage to each other. So on that note, we can bury the hatchet. We have a lot more to do now, at least to remove the lava and destroy all the evil mobs. But I'll still be opening those lucky blocks. You sure are a genius, JJ. It's because of these lucky blocks that we've got all these evil mobs roaming around. Do you want them to ruin the place for good? I can't help it. I just want to open these lucky blocks as I wonder what might fall out of them. Maybe it'll give you a new base. Maybe with a swimming pool and a huge TV. Maybe with security guards. Maybe you'll get a little base made of mud and lava. It could be anything. Why did you throw that dynamite at me when you said we had a truce? But it didn't explode. It's this sword that fell out of Lucky's block. A sword with a chance that on impact, you could drop dynamite or some other object. Except dynamite doesn't explode. It's for the best. You've already destroyed most of the place. I don't need you throwing dynamite around. What are you doing? Are you bothering me again? Why are you throwing those water balloons at me? Well, you're throwing dynamite at me. So I'm throwing these balls at you. I can see you don't want to make up. So I'm going to be mean to you. Too bad I didn't get some big gun from Lucky Blocks that would have let me take you and your base down in one shot. What kind of gun would it take to destroy my diamond studded huge underground shelter in one shot? There's no such thing in Lucky Blocks. Don't even dream about it. But there's a lot of things that allowed me to destroy your base. Yeah, not in one shot, but you did. My base was only slightly damaged by your actions, but yours was completely destroyed. You don't count the mobs that make themselves at home in your base and walk the halls. You better get busy cleaning them out, not chasing me. I'm blind somehow. Did you do that? Get off my base. Don't stop me from fixing it and cleaning mobs out of it. I'm only 
really helping you, JJ. I threw you a potion. Now I hit your base with lightning, but I killed all the mobs, so don't thank me! You're smashing random potions in my lucky base. You obviously don't want to help me, but are hoping that some of the potions will have an effect that will damage my base, so leave it. I'm just helping you out! Don't mind the fire! It was an accident and I got hurt by the fire myself. As soon as I stop burning, I'll put the fire out immediately! I have no purpose to destroy your shelter, but since my base is destroyed, I have nowhere to go. So I decided that I will live here at your base. On my base? No way! I built it only for myself, and I didn't expect anyone else to live there. It's not even big enough for two people. Not enough room for two people? You could fit a whole village in here if you wanted to. You've got a room the size of several houses for a villager. So don't be greedy, JJ. Just give me one room, preferably the one with the candy machine. No, not her. This is my private room. I'll give you the bathroom since that's the one you destroyed the most. Be thankful I agreed to let you stay with me. I just got a new home in the form of a jail cell. Looks like you're on fire. Yeah, so help me get out before I burn up. All right, I'm out. Thanks, JJ. I think it's time to say goodbye to the audience. If you like the video, then click on the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. Thanks for watching us. Bye.